Okay, review and tear down time of an LED light bulb. Lemon Best. Can't beat that name. Uh, these are a direct import from China uh, through eBay. It's a, a GU10 bulb, 110 volts obviously, uh, with uh, three LEDs on the front. Um, what's special about this one actually is it was simply the cheapest bulb I could buy off eBay uh, in large quantities. Um, I'm obviously doing a lot of videos here on YouTube which are sort of desktop related. And uh, my lighting scheme is uh, pretty primitive. You can see it's lots of uh, bright spots and such on the video, which I'm sure causes lots of cinematographers to cringe. Um, but uh, I plan to use these for uh, uh, lighting purposes. Uh, but before I do that, I thought I'd uh, review one, uh, see if it would be appropriate for my use, and then tear it apart. Okay, one of the real critical factors in lights for lighting movies, obviously, is uh, no flicker. Uh, shows up as banding otherwise, and uh, that's no good. A very simple setup. Uh, I've got the bulb here, of course, shining onto the um, solar cell. It converts light back to electricity. So let's turn off the uh, ambient lighting uh, so there's just light falling from the bulb onto it. And uh, we come up and look at the oscilloscope. Um, and there actually isn't a great deal of flicker in the pattern, so that's actually um, excellent. Uh, so this bulb is going to work out well for what I'm looking for. Okay, dimmer test. Uh, obviously a dimmer here with a, a little slider switch. I'll just turn it on. And you can see there's a really bad behavior. It's just flashing and flickering away. Uh, it really only wants to be uh, on full or it just uh, has a, a terrible behavior. So clearly this bulb is not dimmable. Okay, I didn't expect much when I bought these bulbs. I think they're uh, uh, in the $4 uh, each with shipping, so not much money. Uh, but the construction's actually surprisingly good. Uh, there's a, a stamped metal piece with uh, probably some sort of powder coat on it to make it look attractive. Um, some small lenses, which I presume are to of course, spread out the beam pattern of the LEDs. Uh, you can see three LEDs uh, soldered onto an aluminum substrate backed uh, circuit board. Uh, this silver item, of course, the heat sink as the LEDs get hot. Uh, this significant amount of uh, surface area allows the heat to be. Uh, put back into the environment so um, the LEDs stay hopefully reasonably cool. Now, there's a little circuit board, uh, we'll zoom in in a second here uh, on it, and of course then the, the GU10 base. Okay, uh, closer look at the circuit board. Uh, the first thing to check uh, with the GU10, uh, there's a rather s a shocking video on the uh, internet about uh, a GU10 design where the AC leads, at least one of them, makes it all the way to the shell uh, without interruption. Um, and that's a, actually a, an electrocution risk hazard because there's no polarity to a, a GU10 socket. So first thing to check, of course, is it an isolated design? Um, and the answer is yes. It, there's actually a transformer here, and uh, there's high impedance between these wires and these wires. So uh, at least that uh, problem uh, doesn't exist. Uh, the wires come in, of course. They go onto a bridge rectifier. Um, now the design engineer clearly put some uh, holes here, and the wires are supposed to be soldered through the holes and then onto the circuit board. Uh, that's a relatively strong joint because uh, any stresses tends to go then through at least uh, some sort of, um, as the uh, the forces pull on the wire, they uh, don't tug entirely on the solder, they actually have some of the circuit board also protecting it. Uh, you can see in manufacturing they just simply tack solder the wires on, uh, which is very weak. Uh, solder will of course fracture uh, over repeated cooling and heating cycles. Uh, single chip design, uh, there's no uh, external MOSFET, and that's not a surprise, there's not a, a significant amount of uh, current probably to uh, drive three LEDs. Uh, it's a non-dimmable topology, and you can see of course um, it's not just simply a crummy relaxation oscillator, it's actually an integrated circuit, um, but it's still fairly simple because uh, they have chosen not to do a, a dimmable topology, which seems to bring a lot of parts complexity. Uh, this is a, a diode here for uh, rectification on the other side of the transformer. Uh, there's a couple of uh, smoothing capacitors. Uh, another weak point uh, in uh, any light bulb design, uh, the capacitors tend to uh, dry out and then uh, the circuit malfunctions. Uh, they also tend to get fairly hot. Uh, these are rated 105 degrees, so that's not too bad. Um, and again, it's a vendor I'm not particularly familiar with. There's certainly a lot of uh, no-name uh, vendors of electrolytics in China, and uh, sometimes very hard to determine whether the quality is uh, good or poor. Uh, so. Um, <coughs> For what I paid for this bulb, actually, I'm uh, pleasantly surprised. Uh, this is not, there's no horrific uh, problem here with the uh, AC. Some weakness in the design. Uh, actually, there's no fuse as well. Um, would have been nice to have a fuse in the input, but um, 
It's uh, not entirely bottom of the barrel. Um, it's not a relaxation oscillator. It looks like there's a, a decent integrated circuit into it. Uh, clearly, there's no flicker coming on the LEDs, so um, yeah, I'm actually pleased. Okay, let's talk about light pattern. Uh, obviously, it's a downward following bulb. It has a bit of text here. It says uh, 45 degrees. I, I put my light meter on and, uh, of course, measure the intensity. Uh, top dead center here, obviously, uh, the largest uh, intensity, about 3,000. Goes down to 50 very, very rapidly. That uh, makes sense, right? Um, if I understand the measurement technique, it's supposed to be the 50% point, which determines the angle. And uh, if I do that, I get about a 20 degree. So perhaps my measurement technique's not too strong. Uh, but if you look at the actual pattern as it goes downwards, uh, it's a nice even light uh, as long as you're reasonably distance away. So yeah, this looks pretty appropriate. 